guys, welcome back to the channel, Jag here. And in today's class, we're going to continue with our Math 9 content and uh, just a little bit more on slopes and some slopes review. All right, so with that, let's get started. Okay, uh, so here we are. Okay, I just put Math 9 more on slopes. Okay, so uh, let's start off, okay, by finding... Okay, uh, let's find uh, the slopes. And uh, let's just write out the slope formula, okay? Whenever you indicate the slope here, the formula is, again, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, you should make sure you are memorizing this formula. It is not going to be given to you on a quiz or test. Okay, uh, so let's first try uh, just finding out the slope. So say I have two points here. Let's do point A, which is 1 and 9. Okay, and uh, point B, which is 1 and negative 7, okay? So say I'm looking for uh, the slope here, all right? I'm just going to label my two points, x1, y1. This is x2, y2, okay? We're going to plug it into uh, the formula. Let me just write the formula one more time here, okay? And make sure uh, the y... Uh, components are on top and the x components have to be on the bottom here okay so I'm going to do y2 which is negative 7 minus y1 which is equal to 9 over x2 which is 1 minus uh, x1 which is also 1 okay so it looks like this so this is a good example okay because you notice um, the denominator here is going to uh, cancel out, okay? So do negative 16 over 0. So here, make sure you're doing negative 7 minus 9, which is negative 16. On the bottom, it's 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. So anytime the denominator is equal to 0, okay, I'm going to put, therefore, the slope okay, is undefined, okay? And undefined basically just means that um, my actual line here is going to be a vertical line, okay? So maybe let's put that in brackets. Okay, so it's like this, okay? However, if um, the top part uh, ends up being zero, if I did y2 minus y1, and the top was equal to zero, Okay, that would mean that I would have a horizontal line and the slope would actually equal to zero. Okay, does everyone see that? Okay, so let's uh, try applying the slope formula uh, one more time here. Okay. And uh, let's try a different example. Okay. So let's write it on here. Okay, uh, I'm going to put two, two other points here. So let's try point G which is 6 and 18, okay, and point H, which is negative 12 and 3, okay? Whenever you denote the slope, make sure you're using a small m, okay, and not a capital one. So I'm going to write out the formula here, okay, and uh, until you get really good at applying the formula, okay, I always just label my two points, x1, y1, and this is x2, y2, okay? In uh, any uh, pair of the coordinates, the first point is always the x point, and the second point is the y point, okay? So we're going to subtract this now. So y2 is 3 minus y1, which is 18, okay, over x2, which is negative 12, Minus x1, which is negative 6. Everyone see that? Okay, so it looks like this. So this is going to be at the top, negative 15. Okay. And negative 12 minus 6, which is negative 18. All right. We're just going to reduce this, okay? Even when it's a slope here. These two negative signs are going to cancel out. Okay, we're doing 15, negative 15 divided by 3, or 15 divided by 3, 5. Okay, and then 18 divided by 3, which is equal to 6. Okay, 
So this is actually uh, my final answer here, okay, with the slope. So the slope is equal to 5 over 6, okay? So it is really important that you can apply, okay, the actual formula for the slope, okay? Because the most important questions are when you're looking for the equation of the line. Okay, so with that, let's try the example where we are finding the equation of the line, okay? Okay, so let's try it over here. Okay, uh, so let's try uh, something that's a little bit simple, okay? So let's do point K, which is negative 5, negative 1. Okay, and see point L here. Point L is going to be 15 and positive 1. Okay, actually, let's change uh, the sign here. Actually, it's all right. Okay, I don't want it to cancel out. Okay. And I don't want uh, the numerator or denominator to be zero. Okay, just so we can actually calculate uh, the equation of this line here. Okay. So let's write the formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Make sure you're always writing the formula, okay, for the slope first before you plug it in. So this is my first point, which is k. And that's the reason we're putting x1, y1. This is my second point, L. I'm going to put x2, y2, okay? So we're going to plug it into this formula. So y2 is 1. So 1 minus the y1, okay? And y1 here is negative 1. So you notice I'm putting it inside the brackets here, okay, over x2, which is 15, minus x1, which is negative 5. Okay, so it looks like this. Remember, the two signs here become positive. So I'm doing 1 plus 1, which is 2. Same thing here. This is going to become 15 plus 5, which is equal to 20. Okay, so what we're going to do is divide the top and bottom by 2. Okay, and that makes our fraction reduced to 1 over 10. Okay, does everyone see that? So basically, I'm just applying the slope formula here, okay? And I have to make sure if it's a fraction, I'm reducing it all the way, okay? Now, this question does say to find uh, what the equation of the line is, okay? So um, let's maybe put number 1 here, okay? We'll make it really neat. And number 2, where I'm looking for uh, the equation of the line. Okay, so let's write that down here. And this is a straight line here, okay? And so what you're going to do is put it into the y equals mx plus b, okay? I notice this is my m value, okay? So I'm just going to plug it in here. So y equals 1 over 10x plus b. Does everyone see that? And in the second step, okay, what I want to do actually is take one of these points, okay? And uh, I'm going to plug it into the formula. So let's use this first point. Okay, I'm going to write the point here. So we're using the negative 5, negative 1, okay? And this is my x and y value. So I'm going to plug it in for x and y here, okay? So y is negative 1, goes 1 over 10, and the x is equal to negative 5, okay? So just like that. Okay, so now you can multiply, okay, uh, these two together, okay? This is going to be just negative. Let's do one step in between. So this is negative 5 over 10 plus b, okay? And uh, so what you want to do is just reduce this, okay? So we're going to do negative 1. I'm going to divide uh, the top and bottom by 5 here, okay? So negative 5 divided by 5, so negative 1. On the bottom, it's 10 divided by 5, which is 2. Does everyone see that? Okay. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, take this over to the other side. Make sure you are changing the sign, okay? So maybe let's just write it on the side here. So now it's going to be negative 1 plus 1 half equals to b. I'm going to take a common denominator, so let's times it by 2. 
Okay, that's going to be negative 2 plus 1, negative 1 over 2, which is equal to b. Okay, does everyone see that? So this is just I'm uh, adding basically these two uh, fractions together to get my answer. Okay, and now I notice that I have my m value right here. I have my uh, b value at the bottom. I'm going to put it there for a statement. So therefore, y equals mx plus b. So it's going to be 1 over 10x uh, plus b. The b value is negative. Okay, so don't put two signs. I'm just going to put minus 1 half like that. Everyone see that? Okay, and uh, this is actually uh, going to be my final answer. Okay, so we're getting y equals 1 over 10x minus 1 half. Okay. And uh, this is the equation of the line, okay? So just to recap here, the first thing we did is we have two points at the top here. I had K and L. I put it into the formula for the slope, which is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. I found the slope because it was a fraction, I just reduced it, okay? And then in the second step, okay, to find the equation of the line, you're plugging in your slope, okay, for this M value here. In the y equals mx plus b, okay? You pick one of these points, okay? I could pick k or l. In this case, we picked k, okay, to use the x and y values. So let's put point k here, okay? And then we plugged in the x and y values uh, into our equation, and we made sure that we solve for the value of b, okay? Once you have the value for m and the value for b, that gives you uh, the final equation of your line. Okay, so remember the line is linear, okay, and I know because there's no other, there's no exponent greater than 1 on the x here, okay? And that's how you find uh, the equation of a line, okay, given the two points. All right, so uh, that looks good. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you did uh, enjoy the content and you understood how to actually uh, come up with the equation of the line and also how to calculate the slope when you're given two points. So one more time, thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see everyone next time. Thanks. Bye.